Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the big day that a lot of people have been waiting for. It is Icon Player Pick SBC Day today. We're going to once again just a little bit talk about what we could expect today on this game with that SBC, the market movements, SBC fodder. Just speak on that one more before the SBC comes out today as that is a very much anticipated piece of content that so many people have investments have you know times when they want to buy their teams hopefully some panic selling on the market a lot of people are looking for that will it happen today that's what we're going to continue to talk through speaking of market and panic selling we haven't seen a ton of panic selling for team of the year like a market crash yet on the whole market, I'll, I'll preface that and say on the whole market, I don't feel like we are in a market crash, but on some specific cards like this Gold Mbappe, like Ginola, um, there's there's a few other cards that are on this market that have really dropped off a lot in the past 24 hours since we talked last, uh, but other cards really haven't moved that much. So it's a kind of a combination of panic selling on some cards, but I wouldn't really call this a market crash. It's more of just a market drop off. As we head into team of the year, I still think there's more prices that are going to drop over the rest of this weekend and maybe into this week a little bit on this game. And EA Sports dropped some pretty big upgrade packs yesterday. The 81 plus repeatable attacker, midfielder, and defender upgrade SBCs uh, that I honestly think are pretty good value. But this is, again, just reinforcing what EA wants you to be doing right now. They want you to be putting your coins into these SBCs draining clubs of gold and of silvers especially as they're continually releasing um these uh group daily challenges the warm-up challenges to try to get you know drain whatever coins they can right right before a team of the year so if you're excited for this icon player pick today of course smash a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new let's talk about it right today on feed it could be a pretty big day Sundays have been pretty big content days the past couple of weeks, uh, especially last Sunday, and it probably is going to happen again today, but specifically with the big SBC that everybody is ready to finally see released in FIFA. It's that icon player pick, the base mid. Now, just a last few couple more thoughts. I'm going to raise my valuation for how much I think this is going to cost. Yesterday, I said 500 to 750 k I'm going to raise that up a bit. I think it's going to be 600 to 850,000 coins because again, SBC fodder is just so expensive. I mean, yes, you can look at this rise. Sergio Ramos, 27,000 coins right now after being 19K just about a week ago. Rising up this much, yes, you can say this is a lot of investing, but I, I don't know if it's all investing. I think there's some legit demand in there as they've put out some really decent SBCs in the past you know, week especially at the beginning of the week with the Darmian, with the Kloss. I know not all those required higher rated squads, but there's demand for SBC players. That's going to make some of these cards go up. Um, we had the mid icon that was released earlier in the week as well. That moved some of this fodder up. So all I'm saying is I know there's a lot of investing and I think today it's going to be the biggest thing on this market today where uh, we're going to find out how the, the impact of this icon SBC is really going to come down to um, are people going to go out and sell everything to go and do this SBC that it's going to be so cheap that everybody wants to go out and do it and our 88 is going to go to 30k or is the SBC going to be in that middle range or maybe a bit overpriced maybe towards like the 800k range where a lot of people are like man I don't have a lot of fodder in my club I'd have to go pay to do this and then we would see an actual drop in price on the fodder because it was over invested and the demand for people to go and do that SBC is not met uh, is not meeting the amount of supply that there is from people listing up their higher rated on the market. So if you've invested in these, again, this is the big question, right? Do I sell on the hype? We always say sell on the hype, but this is the one situation where if it's a big time SBC that is, you know, going to have so much hype like this, I know it's not repeatable, but it's an icon player pick. And we've seen how insane an SBC like this has impacted the market before. You would think that would make SBC fodder go up. So if I had fodder right now, I think that maybe I would split the difference, right? Sell 50% of it in the hype, 27K, especially if you bought like those Ramos or if you bought Lewandowski. Uh, again, like Lewandowski has been a card I've been kind of looking at all week. The dude is 62K. I know you're looking at these prices and you're like, Nate, this is cheaper than what it was last year. I don't think you can look at last year's fodder prices and expect the cards this year to hit that because this market is completely, completely different. 
uh, everything is just so much cheaper this year. So um, yeah, I, I just think I would maybe sell some of my cards in the hype and take that guaranteed profit because after 6 p.m. UK, after the content drop today, regardless of whether the icon player pick is expensive or whether it's uh, cheap and everybody is going out and doing it, you're going to have people selling that fodder, right? Nobody's selling, not many people are selling right now. They're going to all start selling when that SBC comes out. So it really depends on the price of the SBC and how many people want to go out and do it. But since there's a, so much hype about this SBC, I just have an inkling of a feeling that it's going to be a bit overpriced and a bit overhyped. That's just my opinion. But the Icon Player Pick might not be the only SBC that comes out today. Of course, there has been a flashback that's been talked about now, and the stats have been leaked. And uh, again, and what we've seen recently is when they get the stats for these cards, most often, that means the card is coming really, really soon after they get the stats. So I would imagine, now this is not leaked, this is just me trying to guess and really speculate. We didn't have a player SBC yesterday. I think we might be getting in this Acardi flashback today on Sunday. Uh, these are the confirmed stats. Four star, four star is not confirmed, I believe, but 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 92 shooting. And I do believe that some people have said he has 99 attack positioning, 99 jumping, 96 finishing, really good reactions, composure, heading, and his agility balance even got a pretty sizable boost. Again, these are all some of the leaks that are out there. So this card might have a decent amount of hype, um, maybe even a decent amount more hype than the Icon Player Pick SBC for users on this game. So just kind of thinking about that today as well. It all depends on the cost for a card like this as well. But um, this would be an item that a lot of people would go out and get because PSG Links, that's a really insane looking card. I'm getting like flashback Benzema vibes, but maybe even better with some of these in-game stats uh, as they are leaked to be. So that's pretty crazy. And that's a big player that could, not 100% sure, but could be coming out today. Now also, this actually reverts to just IRL footy for today. Don't forget that this showdown SBC, this game is today. Inter versus Atalanta, huge game today with Darmian and Muriel upgrades on the line. All I ask EA Sports is that you upgrade these cards, whoever wins or if they draw today, please upgrade these items really fast, right? We want to see the upgrades done in at least like less than 48 hours. However long you took with Keita and um, Kovacic, way, way, way too long, okay? Upgrade it lickety split, just like you did with Sule and Pique. That's all that I ask for those, but that's a big game that a lot of people are going to be keeping their eyes on today. And of course, with the Icon Player Pick coming again, going back to that subject, um, that's where a lot of people are hoping to see the market drop off today. Now, again, like I mentioned, you've already seen Mbappe drop off a lot. Some people are like, yo, Nate, is this Mbappe price dropping because of the Icardi SBC? In my opinion, absolutely not. I don't think there is really any people that would be selling Mbappe for that Icardi. This is the best gold card on the game, 900K. Um, I don't think people are going to sell a 900,000 coin Kylian Mbappe cover star glitch FIFA 22 card for a flashback Icardi. I don't think so. So I really just think that on the areas of the market right now where you're seeing some panic, and we're going to go through and look at some of those right now, this is just people finishing their weekend league. Not very many people going out and buying cards for teams or seeing cards drop and want to buy. There's a lot more selling than there is buying right now. And there's really no demand to buy teams. That's why some of the stuff is dropping. But I still think there's some cards on this game that have lower to go, right? Mbappe and Ginola, I think, are, you know, up here on Footman are probably the biggest drops in price yesterday. Cancelo is the one that dropped in price a lot as well. Uh, I believe, um, you know, Manchester City, yes, I didn't even see the final score of that game. That's a fraud Premier League fan. Did Manchester City beat Chelsea? They did, 1-0. to zero. So that's another game that is on the streak for Cancelo. Um, but I think this card was over-invested in. And with all the right backs that we have had, in this game recently, I think what people saw was I just got to get this card out and people were told to sell with their investments. So Cancelo is down. Some of your other headliners from Team 2 dropped a bit. Salah went down. I flipped the Vinny, bought it at 1.45 and sold it actually at 1.56, sold it too early. Um, Teate was down at 60K. He was he went back up a little bit. Um, Barella has not dropped in price. Kimmich is down a lot. So like some of the cards that were maybe over invested in, especially Cancelo and Kimmich, uh, those cards have really dropped off as I think people who are fearing more market crashing are selling some of these cards. But some of the cards that haven't dropped a lot in price, Alessandrini, 100,000 coins for Alessandrini. He's literally not moved. If you take a look at his price from yesterday, he was 98K, went up to 106. 
He's literally just chilling. I would not call this a market crash at all. His price has literally not dropped. It's in its normal range. You look through some other cards, Barella is still 370, right? He is still up in price right now. As we look, continue to look through some of the market, right? You see some of these players like Kessie, very inflated because of the Siri Odling still, 110,000 coins. Donnarumma is still up, 180K. Now, there's some more cards that are down. Kingsley Coman, 550. That's a pretty nice drop off from where he has been. Uh, the Marquinhos Road to the Knockouts card is going down. Uh, this this current week's team of the week, this 89 Marquinhos is so cheap. 338 because people are packing this from their weekend league rewards. Um, and they're, they're nobody's buying, right? People are finishing weekend league, nobody's buying. So Teo Hernandez and Marquinhos are so cheap compared to what their cards normally are. I mean, Group Stage Marquinhos, who is also 89 rated, 370k. Like all of these cards are dropping, especially because of that inform. Uh, for this 89 Marquinhos pushing the other specials lower. You've got Gold Ronaldo now under 300k. You've got Gold Neymar down about 20,000 coins. So I still think there's more dropping to come. As you look through more of the special cards on this game, more of this market, with that icon player pick today, I think a lot of people are hoping that that will initiate another round of panic selling, right? But it's got to be a well-priced SBC for that to happen. And I think you're just going to see it more panic selling in general because people are going to be reminded that, you know, team of the year is coming and that, you know, a lot of time prices drop during team of the year. And I think that over the next two to three days, you'll continue to see prices drop a little bit more. Maybe some of these out of pack specials kick back just a little bit. But right now, everybody's focused on preparing for team of the year. And for a lot of people, that means continually selling a few of those cards. Um, now, a very interesting thing. This is the last, I believe today is the last full day for the team of the year vote because the voting ends on Monday. Um, so probably after that, we're going to start to hear some rumors, maybe some leaks about some of this stuff. Uh, and that could impact the market a little bit in its own sense. Right now, that's not impacting the market because we don't have any leaks because, of course, the voting is still going on. But, I mean... Across the market in general, I still think you're going to see a decent amount of droppage. I mean, Renato Sanchez down 50K. Take a look at some of these icons, right? Zidane is 3.2. These are just a few of these cards. With the icon player pick coming today, I think that, you know, some of these icons are going to drop a little bit more. Maybe your base, maybe your, your mid versions. Icons just, they don't have as much hype as they used to have, especially with the power curve and where it's at and where other special cards, how high their stats are in FIFA 22 as of right now, people are opting for those and SBC cards that they've crafted over icons just because these icons don't have as much hype as they have uh, in years past. So I think across this whole entire market, even if the icon player pick is a little overpriced today, more people have just team of the year in their headlights, in their thoughts. So they are not gonna be buying a lot of teams today. I would watch the out of pack special cards and if you see some really, really insane drops, Maybe you can pull the trigger. Maybe some cards are going to near their cheaper points on the out-of-pack special range um, on this weekend. Definitely in the next three to four days, you're going to see the kind of the cheapest points, in my opinion, for a lot of those out-of-pack special cards um, as people look to buy those for some of their teams. So we're going to look through that, of course, tomorrow into this week for when should you buy some of that if you're looking to just purely buy a team during team of the year as the market has dropped off. A decent amount so that's kind of how i feel about the market again we saw a big drop offs yesterday i still think there's more coming not like mbappe going to 800k but i think like cards like Genduzi, who's still 280 i feel like Genduzi can can drop back down to like 250 maybe 240 and, and still drop down a little bit more that's the kind of example that i'm thinking of with some more prices dropping in the next day on this game now speaking of prices dropping and another thing that is pulling people away from building teams and buying cards for their club right now is ea dropping this content yesterday on fifa the 81 plus defender midfielder and attacker packs repeatable and this is draining coins off the market and draining people's clubs of cards um because this is a way where, you know, we haven't had this in years past where if you're somebody who is trying to save packs for team of the year and stack some stuff beforehand, you would have to save your weekend league rewards. You would do upgrade packs from previous promos and save those. Um, I don't think they released anything like this from last year. I could be mistaken, but literally here EA Sports is saying, here you go. Here's some SBCs you can do right now to prepare packs 
for team of the year, right? They're really just trying to get people to spend more coins on packs like this and get a shot at packing a team of the year, which a lot of people are going to do, especially as they sell their teams this weekend. Now, be, this being said, these SPCs are great value. These are incredible value SPCs, in my opinion. This is the way that I'm looking at it. I mean, 83% upvoted for the attacker upgrade, 85% upvote for the defender, and 80% upvote for the midfielder, right? These are pretty cheap. They're literally 4,000 coins a piece. If you have to buy them and buy all the cards from scratch, 4,000 coins a piece is going to be cheaper than your average upgrade SBC that will get released. Like an 81 plus double is probably going to cost about, you know, 8 to 10K, especially for the upgrade packs that require rares that are released during team of the year. Those are going to cost you about maybe even 10 to 12,000 coins, maybe 15K, depending on the price of rare. So I know you're only getting one player and I know it's 81 plus, which might seem a little bit low. But if you think about it this way, um, there's, you know, there's always the gold upgrade pack that is available, right? This gold upgrade pack is always here and you get two rare gold players from this. And that requires just a gold squad, right? These packs require six players, five or six, depending on what SBC you're doing. And they require golds, just non-rares, no rares. So I like this because you have that 81 plus guaranteed. Regardless, if you're somebody like me who's going to spend a lot of coins on upgrade packs during this promo, then I'm going to be I'm going to be stacking some of these. I know it's what EA wants me to do, but I'm already be beating EA system because having 8 million coins, 9 million coins without spending a FIFA point on this game, you're beating the system, right? I know a lot of you guys have millions of coins as well. And some of you guys maybe only have a couple hundred thousand coins and that's fine too. You can still build two, three, four, maybe even 10 of these, right? 10 of these is going to cost you 40,000 coins. And if you sit down and trade on the market for maybe an hour or two hours in the next couple of days, if you really go at it hard and trade with silvers or trade with even some of these non-rares and rares for league SBCs that people are just building packs right now and, 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 and saving up and just waiting, those all those packs are marinating in people's clubs waiting for team of the year. Like you can you can go and convince yourself, I'm going to spend 40K on this, trade it back in the next couple of days to get back to where I was before and say that I didn't spend those coins, right? That kind of thing you can do with these packs. Um, and yeah, again, obviously eSports is getting us to think about saving packs. The one thing that I do like about these since they're um, position specific is a lot of people don't end up building or you know opening their saved up packs until we get the full team of the year 11 or 12 with a 12th man available in packs. So you have to wait like for the first five days of team of the year, you're waiting to opening your packs. Now with those specific upgrades, depending on how many packs that you have saved, you're going to be able to go into your pack stash and open like if you build attacker upgrade packs, right? Let's say you build like 30 of them. You're going to be able to go in as long as you can find them because if after like 30 packs or whatever it is, and you can, you can find all your packs on companion app or on the web app, but um, I think I have on a sign item right now, so I can't even show you this right at the moment unless I go in the crazy way um, to the store. But you can kind of open these upgrade packs uh, dependent upon what cards are in packs. If they drop attackers first, you could drop your attack. You could open your attacker packs. If they drop midfielders, you could open your midfielders, right? So that is a thing that's kind of cool about these upgrade SBCs is that you can open them before waiting for the whole team to be in packs. So that part of it, I like it as well. If you're trying to craft SBCs during that time frame, and if you're going to open a lot of packs during team of the year, I'm a fan of that. So I like the SBCs. I really do. Um, I thought I had a draft available. Do drafts expire? I don't even know. I, I thought I built a draft, never played the game. Um, I guess I that was a single player draft. I built an online draft. Never mind me. I don't know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, so I think those upgrade packs are a W. I'm really not keeping up with the warm up challenges, but those are again also a pretty decent, um, you know, get a few packs from those. I need to do these 83 plus midfielder and attacker and defender upgrades. I need to do these before they expire today. So I'm going to get those done and dusted. I know that even these cost like uh, 15 or 13,000 coins a piece or whatever it is, but I'm going to get it done and I'm going to spend the coins to do it because I want to have a chance at packing a team of the year. So I am going to do those and I'm going to start stacking some of these because I want to build these up this week because right now I think non rares they're up, uh, since you need non rare golds basically, or the cheapest gold you can find on the market. I believe these are like 650 to 700 coins. Yeah. 700, uh, expiring. And I believe if you go to 600 or 650, those are sitting there too. These might get a little bit cheaper this morning on Sunday with squad battle rewards being pushed out. 
Um, so just kind of keep an eye out for that if you're trying to craft some of these packs. Sunday morning might be a decent time to do that. Same thing with tomorrow with Monday morning with some rewards from foot champions being pushed out as well. So I know it's a crazy day today, right? Everybody's looking forward to this player pick SBC. It's going to be chaotic. It's going to be a big 6 p.m. content drop today on Sunday. We're really going to have to see A, the price of this SBC. And then from there, we'll be able to see if things continue to fall to place. Will it uh, cause more panic selling? Or will people be like, man, I'm not touching that SBC. I'm just going to go back to playing my weekend league, to building packs for team of the year, or doing some other SBCs. I feel like it's going to be one of those two options today. Maybe they release a Cardi. That could be an SBC that people would want to go out and do. And uh, we'll have to continue to watch the market as well. And again, like, like I mentioned with this Vinny, I bought this Vinny at 1.45 and even sold it a bit too early because he's back up to 1.6 flat now. Keep an eye for some of these really meta and popular cards uh, that are out of packs. If they have panic selling hours, um, you know, sometimes they just drop too low because not very many people are buying. And all it takes is a couple hours of panic selling for some of these cards to reach prices that are just too cheap. Uh, and then they rebound back just off of rarity, right? So this Renato went down to like 590, maybe 580. He bounced back to just over 600, but there's no profit in that, right? You have 30K of tax. That's not very profitable. So watch your out of packs items again. Very popular cards. Um, you know, a couple of cards that are still down. I want to mention. I want to look through a few more of these just at the end of this video. Anthony Martial is another one who has dropped off in price a really significant amount. His Winter Wild Cards item is like 600k, I believe, at the moment. Yeah, 609. That's continuing to drop. Zlatan is 2.4 million coins. That's the lowest that he's been. I think he might even be dipping below. 2.4 potentially yeah 239 so Zlatan is dipping down you're seeing panic selling on this game across the whole market but it's just hitting some areas a bit harder than others and I think you're going to see the rest of those areas get hit a little bit harder today into tonight and and into tomorrow and Monday so that's what I would watch for on this market especially if you're eyeing some some out of packs cards for your team and you're really wanting to buy a team through this promo period Add those to your transfer targets. Set up some footbin notifications if you have footbin premium and watch these cards drop in price. If they if they drop off like 30%, 30% is kind of a basis where I'm like, okay, that's a bit ridiculous. Uh, maybe, maybe even like 20% for some of these cards that are already down so much already. Then of course, you know, that might just be a point where it's like, that's way too cheap. I buy those cards and you're happy with that price, whatever you see. So again, big day of content today on Sunday. We'll see if EA puts out everything that we think they might. But that icon player pick is what's going to get the kids all hyped today for sure. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.